Lashon Toiva take a save from me, your old pal Murray Schwartz. Usually you see me as a student in 15 minute Yiddish, but today I'm going to be the lever and teach you how to make a Hanuk Lekech for Rosh Hashanah. Not everybody knows this, but before I became the 43rd highest grossing comic of all times, I got started out as a becker. Sure, I got my union card and everything. Started out in the kitchen at Kutcher's. I used to sneak into the back of the main room at night and watch the old timers do the shtick. That's how I got my start in comedy. Let's start with the dry stuff. You got a cup and a half of flour. You got a half a teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking powder. And then we got our spices. Half a teaspoon each of cinnamon and ginger. What's it that guy uh, says when he puts in the spices? Bam! That's it. I like that guy. Bam! Bam! And now we're going to mix that all together. Now let's go to the wet stuff. Separate two eggs. I never get tired of that routine. I'm just kidding. You put in the whole eggs. Half a cup of sugar. Now this is fancy damara sugar, but you could just use regular white sugar. I know what you're thinking. Sugar is dry, right? But it's considered a wet ingredient. Hey, what do you want from me? I didn't make up the rules. One third of a cup vegetable oil. Two thirds of a cup honey. Now some people like to use straight up honey, but I put in a little bit of molasses. It gives it a little depth to the flavor. The grated rind from half an orange. You could use lemon if you like. Now you take half a cup of strong coffee. It can be decaf if you like. And don't worry, the cake's not going to taste like coffee. It's just going to give it a nice richness. Whisk that all together till everything's nice and blended. You want to make sure that all that sugar gets dissolved in there. Now the wet stuff is going to go into the dry stuff. Never go the other way around. Make sure you get all, all that goodness out of the bowl. And you just want to give that a good mix until everything comes out nice and smooth. You want a nice smooth batter it's going to look a little bit like thin peanut butter. It's okay if you got a few lumps in there. Just make sure all the dry stuff is now wet. Now we're going to take our loaf pan and give it a nice spritz with oil. And in goes the batter. You want it to go about halfway, maybe a little bit more, because it's going to rise as it bakes. You want to give it a nice tap like that to get out the air bubbles. Now while you were doing all that, you should have been preheating your oven to 300 degrees. Now I put my loaf pan on top of another baking sheet in the oven to catch any drips. All right, it's been about an hour. Out of the oven it comes and look how beautiful that is. But to make sure that it's done cooking, we're going to do the toothpick test. Take a regular ordinary wooden toothpick and we're going to stick that right in the middle and you pull it out and you see how schmutzig that is it's got crumbs it's a little wet still it tells you forget about it no good back in the oven we go we'll check again in about five minutes all right it's been about five minutes and that toothpick has come out clean enough well to pick your teeth with it you want to wait for this to cool down entirely before you take it out of the pan and the hardest part is going to be waiting for Erev Yontif. After dinner, everyone's going to be stuffed like Kreplach. But you want to make sure that you leave yourself enough room for a nice slice of this delicious Hanuk Lekach, mit a glaze of latte, or if you're like me, a bit of Swivovitz. And that's how you start out a Zis Nai Yor. This is your old pal Murray Schwartz wishing you, mit die ganze Mishpoche, a sweet, happy, and healthy New Year. And be sure to tune in October 5th through the 9th for the annual Murray Schwartz Chalamoid Sukkis Telethon for the benefit of the National Yiddish Theatre Volksbieter. Zeit gesund! Mm -hmm.